Barbados. Now, Jim John is a name that not many of our viewers might be familiar with, but he's in one year become the darling of the menswear press, right? It's amazing. I mean, from the minute the first look came out a year ago on the runway, we knew he was a big star. And he's had a lot of experience. He worked for Ralph Lauren, he worked for Calvin Klein. He's a huge talent. And by no means is this an overnight sensation. He's been working at it for many years. But what I love about John is he has really defined a look. I mean, within just three collections, we know that that's the John Barbados look. So let's take a look at this. What Absolutely. I think here we go with, this is a very uh, classic Barbados look, which is, you know, the tight, the tight turtleneck with the baggy pants. I think he's really, really into this full cut pant with a suit. There's a high three button with a peak lapel, really a signature for John Barbados. Here we have in a little bit of a shinier fabric. Um, a lot of the designers are going to the two button and John is really staying with what he believes in, which is the three button and I think it looks great. This is definitely one of the must-haves for the season, a, a, a coat that's a little bit longer. I mean, we I love, love that. Isn't that great? It's amazing. It looks, the, it, I'm sure it's cashmere, and I love that olive color. <laughs> this is another really important look for John, and he's really defined himself with the turtleneck and suit look, yeah. the shoulder bag. I mean, that's the new businessman, really. Exactly, the whole casual Friday dress down Absolutely. Friday thing for men. Um, I thought this look was sensational. This is a new pant that John has come out with. It's a little bit it's tighter. Slim, yeah. yeah, it's a jean cut. And um, I love the, the short leather jacket. It looks great in that kind of modern fair isle sweater. You're talking three button. Here's a, a four button. Yeah, that's just kind of an Edwardian feel to mm -hmm. it. There's the, the knee length coat, but again, it looks very sumptuous. Love that brown tweed with the olive. He's really famous for his earth tones. Last uh, fall's collection was all navy and gray, and this looks like it's all olives and browns. It's really yeah, sort of rich. Mochas and coffee colors. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely, very rich palette. Here looks like one of his new jeans that he's um, just introduced, and I think it looks great. It's almost a little James Deanish with the white yeah. shirt and the V-neck yeah. vest. There's another hybrid uh. of a duffel coat. I think he does such a great job of these um, all-American classics, but really updating them. Yeah. Great turtleneck, kind of scrunched down. There's another classic pea coat. There it We're is. seeing a lot of these pea coats we this are. season. Is I, this a must-have item? I think it is. And look at what John has done. He's put a belt with it. He's done it in a different color. He's put it, made it in olive and really updated it. Mm -hmm. He's also really famous for this casual, relaxed look. You notice that the sweater is kind of half tucked in, half out. Uh -huh. The belt is very rugged. and. He wants that kind of unkept, a little bit disheveled. I mean, he's really, we're really talking personal style here. You know, someone who's really confident and wants the, wants to wear the clothes. He doesn't want the clothes to wear him. There's that great Barbados look, which is, you know, the sweater kind of untucked. He wants to show you his beautiful belts. He wants to show you the cut of these pants. They're, How about the pants look to me like they're a little lower slung on the The rise is a little bit yeah. lower. He, he wants that look of it being very casual and a little bit disheveled in a very chic way. And again, they're wide, but they're not too sloppy. Another great bag. His accessories are so strong. I love these shoes too. A lot of them are scotch grained and textured and a lot of boots. He really believes in you know, that rugged elegance. Here we're seeing, what is this, almost either safari inspired, little, military yeah, inspired? Kind of, a, kind of a hybrid again. I mean, it looks a little bit Hemingway with that belted safari, but there's a little military. Yeah. A lot of these fabrics look like they're waterproof. Fantastic shoulder bag. So let's put together your wardrobe from the shell. <laughs> what are the must-have key items? Probably that tweed suit. I okay. thought that looked amazing. <laughs> um, I love the big oversized coat. I love the shearlings. I think a, a shearling coat from John Barbados is a must-have. I think that's really turned into you know, one of the big must-haves of the season. I remember talking to him and some of his people not too long ago, and they said all the shearlings that arrived in the store were sold out a week after the store opened. Wow. So, I mean, that's amazing. For someone that a lot of people didn't know who they were, um, the clothes really speak for themselves, yeah. and the shearlings are really special. That's yeah. a fantastic coat. Fly front, kind of an English feel to it, but because of the way it's proportioned, it's decidedly American. And I think what John has done is he's really redefined what American classic is. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily those pieces, it's not necessarily have to be a button-down shirt or a striped rib tie or, or the classic khaki. It can be redefined. 
it can be done in this way. You can take a turtleneck and make it with a big full neck. You can take a pea coat and do it in another color. You can take the khaki and make it wide, but make it in wool melton. I think these are all these are all things that he's really great at. I'm also loving the runway that he does here. I mean, we're looking at the empty runway is gorgeous. You it know is, what I mean? It's, it? the, it's got sort of this planking, plank, planking wood. Oh, yeah, wow, it really got... goes with the gutsiness and the yeah. woodsiness of the colors. Now, now that's a great way to end the show. I mean, gorgeous. you really wow. talk about recapping what his message is. Here is all the camels and grays and olives. You can see every silhouette, the coats, leather pants, suits. All right, so new proportions, we're seeing. A little bit fuller silhouette. I know that's okay. what he's famous yeah, for, but when everything starts getting a little bit tight, he's eased it up a little bit. But it's still, it's a sexy silhouette. It's not too overpowering. I mean, these guys look great. They look confident. And they still have How could they not look confident? <laughs> I know, the terrific they're, collection. They're wearing these gorgeous clothes. They're, they are gorgeous. And here, oh, that's here's a, John, okay. He should be a very happy man. That was a four-star collection. Okay,